Welcome to the FMB Cup Series here on FMB TV. We have returned the sanctions, the regulations, the rule changes, the union talks, the meetings, they are over. We are back to racing the FMB Cup Series and the fan here at Can the fans here at Kansas Motor Speedway could not be happier. Green flag in the air of the start in the hands of the starters and it is out and we are green. Brent McCaleb is going to lead them to the line. Into turn one already, Colin Brown losing a couple spots. Let's go over what has occurred during qualifying. Unfortunately, we were not been we were not able to catch that. We we do apologize. Colin Brown and Brent McCaleb is set on the pole, but right now it appears that Mason Wellborn in that 21 Ford really muscling it up around the 88 of Brent McCaleb, and now he takes the lead. Mason Wellborn leads lap one. And these guys have been really worried about the tire uh, situation that had been occurring this week as the speeds were hitting upwards of 207 miles per hour entering these corners and really having a sustained speed. For example, these cars really get to about 200 miles per hour in the corner, and then they're right back up to the 207, 208 range. Right now, though, they, they are not... Uh, scared of these speeds most definitely not because Kyle Young has just taken the lead and he's gonna be oh looks like he's got a little contact there from Alex Bates and these guys are three by three by three by three going into your in the race here Eddie Roberts Bobby Campbell Jeffrey McClintock Jr. and uh, Brian McCurro are really fighting it out and Eddie Roberts is there in the shadows too they're looking to capitalize on this championship as it comes down to two more races so we'll have to see how that turns out but look at this Looking for wide. These guys getting a little bit crazy now. Oh, contact in the 07 is hard in the wall. Oh, and this is going to be a huge crash. The 49 of James Chew is involved. James Chew is involved. Oh, and it looks like Eddie Roberts and Jeffrey McClintock Jr. is also involved. Eddie Roberts is involved. Yes, that is confirmed. Oh, and the 97 has a ton of damage as these cars are mostly driving away, but... Oh, look at this. Jeffrey Stanton has been involved as well. And Brent McCaleb, your pulse hitter. He may have been one of the first guys to get turned. Back to the line. It looks like Alex Bates is going to lead him. Let's take a quick look at how this caution unfolded. Going to be up from the helicopter view here. Let's see what happened. Oh, it looks like James Harrigus might get into the back of the double O. It does. It happens. The 07 makes huge contact with that outside wall. Look at the 49 of James Chu almost up and over as he goes up on two wheels there for a second oh look at that Kuroga involved as he's trying to muscle his way through oh does he get more contact oh and the 07 has went upside down we did not catch that on our initial shot but the 07 of Tyler Wesley after making a huge hit with the outside wall is going to go for a tumble and he might get hit again yeah there a little bit the 77 of Jason Chalinski's gotten a little damage Let's so take a look at how the championship contenders were involved. The 97 of Jeffrey McClintock Jr. really had no chance to miss that. He was right in the brunt of the storm. Let's so take a look at another championship contender, Eddie uh, Roberts as he was really far in the back actually he was running dead last when this happened let's go on board take a look he's checking up there checking up let's see oh he gets in the back of Harrigus or uh, uh, Davis oh and just makes contact with a 49 car nothing he can do unfortunately and he's going to get some significant amount of damage but let's go back and take a look. One more replay of how Jeffrey Stanton was involved in this crash as he was running far back. There's the crash in front of him. He's slowing down. Oh, and the 88 just comes out of nowhere, but the 99 should be slowed down, and that is the third time this year that Jeffrey Stanton has been involved in such a idiotic type of crash. So, unfortunately, it's going to... Uh, it's going to claim his car for the day. Pit stop's underway. Let's see who makes it and who breaks it. Alex Bates with a slow pit stop as he is still on pit lane. Bobby Campbell's out of the pits. Tanner Guns, Ryan Williams, 
Tanner Guns, Bobby Campbell in the championship battle. Wanting to for uh, wanting to get that championship. And uh, right now, Luck is not on Alex Bates' side. These last couple weeks have been killer for him. And now it appears that he is going to be cycled back pretty far. Coming back to the line, green flag is going to be out and in. Down he leads him to the line and a huge jump on the 19. Remember, there is no rule that uh, limits drivers to changing lanes on the restart. So that was perfectly fair. And the 19 really is not going to get an advantage because here comes Ryan Williams on the bottom. He takes the top spot away from Ian Dowdy. And here comes a group of other cars looking for Alex Bates. Went in first. Is going to come out eighth right now. Can't be too happy with this car. This last time in the pits, they had a lug nut fall off, and the official was right on top of it. Told him to put it back on. So luckily, he salvages eight positions lost instead of, let's say, 20. Back up front, though, Ryan Williams starting to put on a clinic if you will uh, right now it appears because he has had he has the largest lead that we've seen in a crash on the back stretch caution is out again and it appears that Ian Dowdy oh and Mason Wellborn again heartbreak for him these guys are racing back to the line and Ryan Williams is gonna lead it but he didn't Ryan Williams did not want to see that he was like I said starting to pull away and doing it fast let's take back a look let's go take a look back at what happened I believe it's going to start with Ian Dowdy. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like Ian cuts off the 19. And he's going to get a piece there. And look at that. The 19 getting airborne. And whoa. A couple cars really getting lucky with that. But Ian Dowdy's going to drive it away. And believe it or not, so is the 19 of Anthony McGuire. After you see this replay, you won't believe it. Oh, look at that. Back wheel is off the ground. It's a hard hit. But my goodness, we're getting reports that Jeff Bolton just made one of the wreck avoidance of the year. On board, Jeff Bolton. Wow. Now that's what I call just a little bit of muscle there to get the 18 out of his way of Tim Brangan right now. If anybody's lucky, it's going to be Jeff Bolton. He is sitting pretty, but pretty far back in the pack. But after missing a wreck like that, you just... <laughs> You calm down, take a drink, and just really count your blessings because that was lucky, to say the least. Pit stop's underway, and Ryan Williams is in, and Alex Bates is also in. A couple of these guys have just made a pit stop the last caution. I guess they're in to top the fuel off. It's very important for these guys to get enough fuel in their cars as this race is may uh, very well come down to a three- or two-stop strategy. And these guys, if it is a two-stop strategy, Alex Bates... Ryan Williams, Bobby Campbell, Chris Barnes, and a handful of others that are in the pits right now have definitely made their final pit stop. We'll have to see if that's how it plays out. Tanner Guns is going to retain the lead of the race, and he is on the apron. He appears to maybe save and fuel. Oh, no, something may be wrong. He is on the pit road, and he's following the pace car in. A handful of others are as well, but they have damage and they are coming in to repair. So Dirk Flemish is going to retake the lead that he previously held a couple laps ago. And we are green again. And Steven Knight back into second place. Look at Tammy Pacioli. He got a win a couple weeks ago. And he's looking to really get it going again. This could be his race to have a breakout. It's always good to finish the year strong. And definitely looking towards next year, you kind of want that. Dirk Flemish, though, he's holding strong on the high side, but it's not going to last long. The 5 and the 89 hooked up on the bottom, and they're going to get around them. And here comes the 5 now. Another lead change in store for the F&B Cup Series. Lap number 12 of 27 completed. A couple guys coming off pit road. Let's get an update on the 97 of Jeffrey McClintock as he's been on and off pit road. We're getting reports from his crew that they are working on the suspension that is crabbing down the front and back straight, back straights, and they are going to be coming into the pits every lap until they can get this fixed. So far, they've made six pit stops, and the suspension is basically undrivable right now. They don't want to come into, they don't want to go into the garage and lose laps, so they're staying, just making minor adjustments on the back of the suspension. It appears to be minor because you just can't come into pit lane and make little adjustments like that and expect to keep you know laps up. So whatever they're doing. They seem to be doing it right. 
right now they're not losing too many laps, but this will be a lap lost once more as he now sits um, really far back, and right now he's being scored three laps down. So damage control right now for the 97 pit. Up front, though, Tanner Guns, a lap down, has got back onto the track without losing a lap. It appears we'll get a check on that, the 09. Waiting for confirmation whether this 09 is a lap down, and he is a lap down after he is fighting for that lap back because Timmy Pacioli just put him a lap down, and now he's on the high side, and he's not able to go anywhere as they come off turn number two. So Tanner Guns, if he wants to stay in this battle for the championship, he needs to get that lap back because time is running out. 15 of 27 already completed here at Kansas. Very, very fast track. Timmy Apaccioli fighting with Colin Brown to lead it to the line. Not going to happen. Put Pacioli second and put Colin Brown first as he leads that lap. And Stephen Knight is getting used to being on the back bump of the leader right now. Sitting second, it's where he's been most of the race. All he wishes for right now is just to get around the car and start to pull away. And we've yet to run a, you know, a good amount of laps under green. And right now this is our longest stint, approximately six laps under green. Colin Brown not having the best year, but looking to get something going. But Stephen Knight, of all things, really needs to get something going as he is definitely in trouble with funding next year as that team has already admitted that they are lacking sponsors for the 2013 season. And it's terrible to see somebody like that. Oh, Joe Davis is pulled onto the racetrack, and it appears to put a little bit of a block on the 8 and the 41. And here comes Jeff Bolton. Remember, uh, one of the early cautions, he had an amazing wreck avoidance, uh, and we had an onboard camera just so happened to, and it's one of the best we've seen in recent years. Right now, though, not having the greatest race of his life, but seeing that he just made his first start this year in the middle of the season, running seventh as they come across the line. This time it should be seventh or maybe sixth. Uh, definitely pretty good for his standards, a top ten nonetheless. Up front, though. Slow cars. Eddie Roberts running for the championship right now. 25th out of the uh, 25th out of the um, 34 cars running. And again, Jeffrey McClintock dives on the pit road, and he is still working on the suspension. And they're yet to get that lined out. So we'll keep you updated on that. Colin Brown is leading, and Colin Brown right now has led the most laps out of all the drivers today as he has been able to stay in that top spot. And, oh, contact with the 10 and the 66 of Stephen Knight. Bobby Campbell was all but wrecked there, and right now he's moving under Tanner Guns. It appears a little bit of a slingshot. Not going to happen. Tanner Guns cuts him off. And you got to remember, Tanner Guns is a lap down. So Bobby Campbell is second, and Colin Brown is first. Not to be confused. Right now would be not good to see. That would be... a. Uh, Colin Brown losing that spot to the 09 because if the 09 gets that lap back, Bobby Campbell's not going to be pleased whatsoever. We're going to go to commercial break. We'll be right back for the conclusion of the Kansas race in the FMB Cup Series. You're watching FMB TV. We're back from commercial break. We had to break in there for you. Colin Brown has just taken the yellow flag. Debris in turn number one, and this is going to shake it up huge. Colin Brown is elected not to pit as he is ahead of the pace car, and I don't think they're going to allow the guys to pit this time. So we'll have to see. And the pace car lights are off, so no one elects to make a pit stop except for Jeffrey McClintock Jr. back there. Again, he is still working on that car suspension. It is undrivable, but it has been tweaked enough to where it may be able to finish the race out without having to take a pit stop. Definitely championship hopes with only two races remaining. Definitely going up in smokes if this continues. Okay, to recap, Tanner Guns, a lap down, has yet to get that lap back, and it appears it may not happen. Colin Brown is your leader. Bobby Campbell topped off uh, a caution ago on pit road as long with Jeff Bolton, Alex Bates, and a handful of others. Jeff Bolton jumps out to a huge start and tries to get around Timmy Pacioli. Not going to happen. Green flag is out, and we're racing at Kansas. This should be the final restart. Oh, but Colin Brown, he got one of the greatest starts we've seen yet today, and he is off turn two and already 190 miles per hour down the back stretch. He pulls to about a two or three car length lead as they head into turn three. 
and right now it appears to be doing it well because these guys back here, the 10, the 09, the 43, and the 89, really battling it out. Here comes Alex Bates. He's got Jeff Bolton to worry about, though. Jeff Bolton making that high line work as he is right in the middle of the track now, running that middle line, getting his most speed off the corners he can. And it appears to be working, but uh, right now, Colin Brown putting on a, a pretty decent lead, and it's pretty steady. But if these guys single file up, they might get to him. And right now, they don't know what that, they don't know what the definition of calm racing is. They're going for the win because next time by, white flag will be in the air. Keep in mind, these guys may be running low on fuel, but the five pit has said they can make it. So that's a statement. Some of these guys have not pitted and not topped off. So it's going to be curious to see if these guys can make it. But we shouldn't expect to see the five running out as the pit crew is saying so all few all fuel must have gotten to the car because there they are across the line white flag is in the air will they make it back around will these guys get to him because Stephen Knight is on his tail Alex Bates and Jeff Bolton Jeff Bolton's got around Alex Bates off turn number two but here oh it appears Stephen Knight may be out of fuel here comes Stephen Knight he is out of fuel that is it Colin Brown comes off turn number three. Oh, and he's out of fuel. Colin Brown's out of fuel. A huge crash behind him. Jeff Bolden comes out of nowhere and wins. Jeff Bolden wins at Kansas. What an upset. Colin Brown is going to finish second, but Jeff Bolton is going to win. Have you ever? The pit crew must have not gotten all the fuel into the car, and that just cost him the race and the win. Jeff Bolton gets his first win of the season here at Kansas. He just made his first start at Lime Rock a couple of races ago. And this season has been filled with first-time winners. And he's got it done today. Let's go back and take a look at how this occurred. Man, what a crazy finish. Colin Brown's crew was screaming on the radio that they had plenty of field to push, push, push. Because Stephen Knight was coming. But as you see here... Stephen Knight blocks Tanner Guns and the whole high line. That allows Jeff Bolton to get through unharmed. And here comes Colin Brown as he's out of field. He dives up in front of Jeff Bolton and dives down and then wins the race by a huge margin. But it wasn't, it was, <laughs> I bet it wasn't huge in his book as he had to make up almost four spots in one lap. But it appears there was a crash in the back. Let's take a look at Ryan Williams as he looks to be involved in this crash. He goes all the way on the apron to get past a huge amount of cars. And, and oh, the 43 has ran out of fuel as well. And that puts Ryan Williams into the wall. And he's going to lose all the spots he just gained and a ton more. And he's right in the middle of the track because he's going to come across the line. There goes Mason Wellborn. And there goes Eddie Roberts. And Ryan Williams is unfortunately going to come home 16th. you got to remember a couple of those cars will lap down, so keep that in mind. A huge race for the championship. Bobby Campbell's going to finish fourth. Let's go over where everybody else finished in the championship. Brian McCurio, um, or let's get to Eddie Roberts. Eddie Roberts finished 25th, looking for the 97 of Jeffrey McClintock. He has retired, so he will be finalized a score. Uh, scoring in the um, 27th position, 10 laps down. They could not get that car right. And the 12 of Brian McCurro also ran the championship points, 28th, 21 laps down. So thank you for watching. If you want to see the point results and the standings, make sure to go into the description and link it to a photo book link, it, a link of the standings. If you want news about uh, the Bush series that will be starting up very soon, uh, hopefully this week, and the Cup Series, you need to like the Facebook fan page of the FMB Cup Series. This is very, or the FMB Offline Series, is very important that you go there. You won't get any other news uh, other than there. So if you like that Facebook fan page, you'll get all the updates and all the future uh, scandals or breaking news in the series. So thanks for watching. We'll see you later. And from Kansas Motor Speedway, congratulations to Jeff Bolton. He is your winner. The championship plot is thickening, and we'll see you next race.